Hello again, YouTubers. Welcome back to another Captain's Unboxing. I'm the Board Game Captain. And I'm Lynn. And today we're going to be unboxing our copy of Sonar. Now, Sonar is a sort of sequel to Captain Sonar. Uh, I was very intrigued by Captain Sonar, but was put off by the fact that it was not really playable in smaller player amounts. Everybody said that it was really designed better for a real-time experience, and in real-time you really needed six, six or eight players to get the proper experience from it. So they came out with a sequel that's kind of the reverse. It's designed to be played with either two or four players, and is specifically designed to be more of a turn-based game rather than a real-time game. So I'm uh, quite interested to try this out and hoping that it will work really well with just the two of us. Uh, let's have a look. Well, first off, the box is very nice. Uh, they even did artwork on the bottom there. Uh, here we have the rule book, which appears to be very simple. It's only about uh, four pages long, and that includes lots of big diagrams for the scenarios. So, should be able to get playing this pretty quickly. We have some plastic screens. Now, I believe this is for the dry erase that you do trying to keep track of where you think your opponent's submarine might be because you have to figure out where their submarine is and destroy it uh, while they're trying to figure out where your submarine is. Then we have the infamous screen, very similar to the one they had in Captain Sonar, though I would hazard a guess would you grab the other side so we can show off the illustration? Thank you, love. Uh, I would hazard a guess that it's probably a bit smaller because this is meant for only two to four players. And it is two-sided. It actually has a different illustration on the other side. So this is so you can't see where your opponent's submarine is. Uh, very nice. The screen is very nice. And then here we have the boards for uh, you each, uh, I guess, get one of the same board for where you're navigating around and also trying to figure out uh, the coordinates that your opponent's submarine is at so you can uh, destroy the submarine. And let me show you a close-up of what these boards look like. I think you put one of the plastic sheets over it so you can use dry erase markers to, uh, again, try to keep track of where your opponent is. You have to be careful, I think, not to run into the islands, if I'm not mistaken. And then the final bit of components here are four dry erase markers, each one with a little eraser on the end. So it does, and Lynn, mm -hmm. it does qualify for your, one of those requirements for you to like a game where it has to come with everything you possibly need. It didn't tell you to run out and buy dry erase markers. So what do you think of that? I like that. I thought you would. So there you go. That's everything that comes in the box for Sonar. It seems pretty easy. I'm, I'm very excited to want to try this out. Unfortunately, it's not one that's small enough, small enough for us to bring over and play at the local coffee house. But uh, one night over a few beverages, I think we can play this one down in the basement. It looks really cool. So there you have it. That's everything that comes in the box for Sonar. If you enjoyed this unboxing and you'd like to see us do more like it, be sure to give this video a like share this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to The Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelt with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game on.